Hi guys and welcome back to the second part of today's lesson, adding and subtracting fractions. You can see here that we are moving on to our mixed number fractions this time. So mixed number fractions have a whole number part. So here we've got one whole number and five twelfths of our fraction. An improper fraction is what we call top heavy. So that's where our top number is just bigger than our bottom number. If we have a look back up at our mixed number fraction there, to change that into an improper fraction, we take our whole number and multiply it by our denominator. So in this case, 1 times by 12 is 12. And then we are going to add on that 5 at the top to give us 17. So our new top heavy fraction is going to be 17 out of 12. The denominator doesn't change. It's staying as 12. On the flip side to that, our top heavy fraction becomes a mixed number fraction. Well, we need to start by doing our top number divided by the bottom number. So 8 goes into 22 two whole times and it leaves us with a remainder of 6. So here my 2 becomes my whole number part. I can get two whole 8s out of 22 and it's going to leave me with 6 8s. Again, my denominator does not change. So my whole number is the first part of my answer and the remainder goes on the top of my fraction. In this example here, we can simplify that by using our two times table to divide down. So it's actually two and three quarters. When we are adding and subtracting our mixed numbers, we do not have to make them top heavy because our numbers can get big quite quickly. So here what I would do is I would just do my 2 plus the 5 to start with to give me 7 and keep my fractions as they are for that first line of working. Then we go back to what we did in the first video there. So 5 times by 2 would get me up to 10 so I need to multiply by 2 on the top and that's going to give me 7 and 4 tenths plus my three tenths. And I want you to notice there that I didn't multiply my seven, only the fractions changing, not my whole number. What we then do is keep the seven the same. I add my top two numbers together, which also gives me seven, and I keep the 10 the same in the bottom for seven and seven tenths as my final answer. For example two then, we are gonna do the same thing. So start with my five, take away the three to leave me with two. I've then got eight over 21, and take away 1 over 7. Like before, we said that 7 threes give us 21, so I'm going to need to times the top by 3 as well. So I've got 2 and 8 21s, take away 3 over 21. 2 stays the same, 8 subtract 3 is 5, and 21 stays as it is. I cannot simplify that fraction anymore, so 2 and 5 over 21 is my final answer. For example three, same idea. So six take away two is going to leave me with four. And I've got four fifteenths take away the two fifths. We're going to want to multiply by three for this example to get my five up to a fifteen. Four and four fifteenths then take away six fifteenths. Now we can't really do our four take away six because that's going to leave us with negative two. And we don't really like that whole number take away part of a fraction. So what I would do is take one whole number out of my whole four here. So uh, I can subtract one whole number and my one is really going to be equal to 15 over 15. So what I'm really going to do is if I'm taking away 15 over 15 from my four, I'm adding the 15 onto the four on the top of my fraction. So that's going to leave me with three whole numbers if I've taken one away. The four plus my 15 becomes 19 out of 15. Take away six over 15. Um, I've run out of space, so I'm just going to move along to the side. So my 19 take away six is going to leave me with 13. So I've got three and 13 fifteenths, which I cannot simplify anymore. For example number four then, we're going to do our seven take away four to give us three. I've then got three quarters, take away my two thirds. I'm going to multiply my two bottom numbers together. So I've got three at the start, the 12 and the 12. Three brought up to that other three is going to make nine. 
and 4 multiplied by 2 is 8. So now I've got 3 and 9 twelfths take away 8 twelfths. And that's going to leave us with 3 and 1 twelfth, which we cannot simplify. Lastly here, I've got 5 take away 3 and a quarter. So here, 5 take away the 3 would leave me with 2. And I am still taking away that quarter. If we do the same steps as before, and I take one whole number out of my 2, that's going to leave me with one whole number and four quarters to make a whole number there. One plus our four quarters is the same as one plus one to give us two. And I'm still taking away that quarter there. So that is going to become one and three quarters. And just so that you can visualize what we did there, if we have two whole cakes or pizzas and they are split into quarters and I subtract one of those quarters, I've got one whole cake or pizza left and the three quarters, which matches our answer over here. That's you at the end of part two. So now you have the rest of your worksheet to complete. Again, it is non-calculator. This full exercise today is non-calculator. So I want to see all of the working when you are submitting your work at the end of the week to your teacher. Here are questions four to seven. Uh, if you are unable to access the worksheet, I would pause the video here to try these questions. And we are gonna go on to the next slide then to get the last couple of questions. Try your best with these. Any problems, make sure to email me or post in our Teams channel and I will get back to you as quick as I can. I will see you in your next lesson.